In a previous video, I spoke about the three typical choices we've got when it comes to maintenance strategies. Reactive or run to failure, preventive or planned maintenance, and predictive and condition-based monitoring. I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about reactive maintenance. Think about the place where you work, a plant, a factory, refinery perhaps. Something breaks down, resources allocated to go and fix it. So much work to be done, so many breakdowns, that they do a band-aid fix or a temporary fix, just to get it up and running as fast as possible. Because of the amount of breakdowns you've got, they're overworked and stressed, and their morale is dropping. That also means their standards are dropping, because they've got so much to do to try to keep up. Planned maintenance also gets missed out, meaning the backlog grows, many more breakdowns. And so the cycle goes on. We want to try to get out of the reactive maintenance cycle and into something that we actually can predict a little bit better. There's three main categories of reactive maintenance. Routine repairs, where operations aren't affected and we can maybe plan it in for later. Urgent repairs, where operations are now affected and we need to fix it to get it up and running. And emergency repairs, where it's a risk for health and safety and we need to urgently do something about it. So when the asset fails, we've detected that there's a failure, we need to determine how urgent it is. If it's not so urgent, we can create a work order and plan it in for later, the ideal scenario. If it's urgent, we need to fix it immediately, but we need to have in our plan for this to occur, so we've got the spare parts and the resources ready to go. If you want to learn more about how you can improve your maintenance plan, follow us on YouTube and Instagram or connect with Facebook and LinkedIn. Let me know what else you want to hear about and I'll do my best to help.